We are now going to cover real bristle brushes. Wow. This is brand new to Painter 10. And let me tell you guys, this is worth the upgrade alone. For those of you that are still painting a 9 or 9.5, uh, this DVD still can teach you a lot. But you can't do anything that I'm about to do without the real bristle brushes. This replicates the real oil brush strokes and I'm going to show you and I will teach you a little bit on the behavior. So you have this image, it's the gondola. I took this in Las Vegas at the Venetian Hotel and you will find it in your goodies folder. I have it on my desktop but you will find it in your goodies folder under goodies from Faye and that's gondola and just open it and let's have some fun with this image. For starters, I'm going to go and I'm going to add an empty blank layer on top so that I can show you the behavior of how this brush category works. Now, I have created a, in the window menu, under arrange palettes, no, 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 under custom palettes. I have created custom palettes for these real bristles. Now, what I did was, I simplified it for you, and this comes with Phase Workspace. You have your real bristle palettes. They are all three attached, and again, you have them under Window. If you're going to go to Custom Palettes, this is where all your palettes live. Okay, so if it has a checkbox, that means it's open. If it's not, it means it's not. All you got to do is highlight it. Let's say I'm going to go to Custom 29, and Custom 29 is going to come up here on my desk except that I don't want it, I'm just going to close it. If I wanted to delete that one, just throwing in something on the side, I'd go back to Custom Palette Organizer, I would highlight 29, and I would delete it, and now it's gone. So if I go back to Window, Custom Palette, notice at 29, it's gone. It's really gone. But if I come over here and I close this button, it's off my desktop, but I didn't lose it. It's still under Window, Custom Palette, and here they are, Real Bristle, Blend with Color Blenders and so forth, all these three. I'm just going to click on the top one, and because they're attached, they're going to come out like this. Now, this is what I did. We have a Real Bristle category. These are Real Bristle brushes. And all these are the variants of that category, but each brush has a different type of behavior. The outcome is that they all have the real oily, bristly effect, and I'll show you, except that each one interacts differently with your canvas, and that's why I proceeded to divide it into three categories. You have real bristles that paints only color. You have bristles that blend, and with the color that you apply, they blend and you have real bristles that are blenders only. So let's start over here. Let's start with one that says real bristle only paints color. So let's take this bright little green and let's just use this as a canvas for now. And let's come in here and let's apply the brush. Just like that. Wow! Look at that. Does that look like I took a paintbrush and just painted with it? Not only that, but take a look what happens if I take the brush and I twist it. The bristles are following me around in circles. No other brush in history ever did anything like that. Okay? So, we have all these brushes. These are the ones that I specified. This first one, here we go. I'm going in circles and I'm going and I'm twisting. Okay? It adds color. If I change the color, it switches the color for me and it blends with the one under it as well. Okay, now the second one, and let me undo that. The second category, which is really interesting, it blends and it adds color as well. So if I were to have this blue, and I'm using this first one, it's called Real Blender Tapered, and I'm applying the brush, but watch what it's doing. It's supposed to blend with the color, but, and this is the big but, all these brushes only interact with pixels than they do what they're supposed to do. 
So if, or would pick up on the line color. So if I were to be on this canvas layer, right? And I come down here. So I first put down my brush and it applies color. And then I continue to paint with it. And all it's doing is blending. But there's no more blue. If I want that blue, I have to pick up my brush and come back down again and get the blue. And then it continues blending. It's as real as it gets, meaning that I have to dip my brush into the paints to pick up more blue. And it picks up the blue and then I'm painting with it. And it runs out and then it'll blend everything else that's there. And I'll show you how to apply it. Again, I keep on picking up. Listen to the sound. That means I keep on picking up and I keep on getting the blue, okay? But if I were to do that on the top layer, and I'm going to do that over here, it's painting blue and it's painting blue because what it's doing is it's painting on an empty canvas, okay? But if I were to click on pick up underlying color, it has what to interact with. It will behave the same way it did on the canvas. It adds the blue and then it blends with it. So whatever is a brush that behaves this way, it adds color and it interacts and blends with the color under it. So either pick up underlying color will give me the interaction with the canvas underneath, or if I paint on the canvas directly, it behaves the same way. But if pick up underlying color is not checked, it'll just go and add me blue alone. Okay. Now real bristle blenders are brushes that only blend. They don't add any color. So I'm coming in here and I'm just blending what's there and we love to blend, right? That's what we do. We just take the pixels and turn them into paint strokes. And let's say we come on the top layer, pick up on the line color. We're still going to blend. It's picking it up underneath. But if pick up on the line color is not checked, it behaves again. It needs pixels. It's totally blank and it doesn't blend. It just adds color. Any one of these brushes, it just comes in and it adds color. Pick up on the line color, it behaves like a blender. If you're on the canvas alone, it also behaves like a blender. So now that I made a big mishka bubble from the entire paint, wow, look like I'm back to my two-year-old days. Let me come in and revert. And now I'm back to scratch one. And let's start applying these brushes and see what we can create with them. I'm going to come in close to this gentleman right here. And let me show you how cool certain brushes can be. I am going to paint on an empty layer because I like to have separation from the canvas. I could turn the eye on and off, but pick up underlying color has to be checked. I'm going to come in first into my blend with color and I'm going to come in here with my real blender, the tapered, or I can use the round. Let's start with the round. So I want to come in here and I want to paint in these pants. But at the same time, I want to add the highlights and blend them in at the same time. And that's what these brushes are about. So let's select, let's option, alt, click the area. And let me pick up the highlights just like that. Let's get a little warmer here. Come in a little smaller with a brush. And now follow where you see the highlights. Over there is a little highlight. So I put my paintbrush down. I added the color, but I did not pick up the paintbrush. I'm blending. Now I picked it up again and I'm adding the white over there as well. And I continue blending. I picked it up again a little bit and I blend it down there. You have to get used to how this brush works. It sort of, it needs to pick up the color to work with. It won't start painting until you move around with it just a little bit and then blend around. Here we go again. Add a little light and keep on going. Add a little light. I'm blending here. I want a little light. And it's amazing because I don't have to come in with one brush and add my lights and then come in with another brush and blend. I can do it all with one brush. You just have to know how to use it. Get used to using it. And if I 
still want to blend, I come back with my blending category from these brushes. So here I have a little more highlights, and then I blend it in with the same brush. The idea is that you don't have to go, put your colors down, come to another brush, blend it in. You don't have to go back and forth. You can do it within one brush. And it is just super. I love it. Just love it. Here we go again. I'm getting carried away. That's okay. That's what painting's all about. Now, does that look cool? I love that. Look at that. That's before. That is a photograph. And that is a painting. Let's close the eye underneath, and that's what we have. Okay? Now, let me come in just with a blender. I have over here the Real Bristle Blenders, and that's all it's going to do is blend. It's not going to add any color. So let me come in here and just blend in a little of that. Let me blend out just a little of this area right here. I kind of like it when it adds those little highlights makes it more interesting. Now if I want a little yellow in there, I'm going to come in with a little dab of yellow, coming back with this brush, where I put down a little yellow and then I continue to blend. I want a little red, a little hot red, right there. Bring it in here and then blend it down. Maybe a little red in there too makes it a little interesting. Bring it into the pants, just like that. Okay. So that's the pants. Before and that's after. And I'm going to come in here to the boat. Again, let's use this. That's my favorite brush actually because it just does two things at one time. And that's what I always do. I add color and then I proceed to blend. There we go. Look at that. Just like that. Does that look like an oil brush? Yes, it does. Look at those strokes. Oh, just phenomenal. Add in a little bit of that blue and then come in and blend it in. And I didn't change brushes. All within the same brush. All within the same brush. And if you don't want to add any color, then use the brushes to just blend. Look at that. I just needed a little color, so I just lifted it off the board a little bit. And that's how we did that. That is beautiful. That's before, and that is after. And let me mount this image so we don't see the background. Do Command or Control M, and now I have the entire image on top. Let's get in closer. Let's see those brush strokes. Just like that. That is amazing. That is before and that is after. Okay. And of course, if I want to get in detail, because I just love detail, and I want to go in just close up, I can just come in with my Norman Rockwell. Because Norman Rockwell has room for everything. Just come in with my little black and my tiny little white. And then my little grainy water, very small, just a little bit. And now that has like three-dimensional feel to it. So you can see that that piece is there because we want, wouldn't want to lose it, would we? That's before and that's after. There we go. That's your real bristle brushes. Enjoy.